everybody, how you doing? <clears throat> so today, um, I want to talk about <sighs> natural rights. Go figure. So, <clears throat> beginning the arguments um, with people about politics, of course, um, they seem to be under the false illusion that they have choice um, and that the right side or the left side <clears throat> are going to give them what they want. And I think the important question to ask is what you want yours. We talk about, somebody actually, someone talked about the greatest quote unquote common good. And ultimately, there is only one common good, and that is the right to be free. Your idea that you think that 51% of the population view a certain topic just like you, and that's the common good, or that you are capable of deciding what is the common good <laughs> for the next person. Um, history, all the way from Mesopotamia to the Fertile Crescent, um, into Sumeria and Babylonia as they uh, <coughs> well, migrated and populations formed. They created um, systems very similar to this, um, which gave the population the illusion of choice, being that slavery was A-OK -okay and slavery was not determined by race. Um, basically, the Greeks, on a way, in one way, uh, kind of formed that when <clears throat> they started um, basically the movement to perfection, quote unquote, or the aspiration to perfection to um, to be perfect. Uh, basically, anybody else, even their own, each individual city was its own individual <clears throat> self-contained unit and could work with the other Grecians. Um, and together, well, well, you see what happened. But uh, nevertheless, that was all built on slavery. Everything, everything throughout Western history um, is all built on slavery. And it continues to be built on slavery, except the slaves don't know they're slaves. They've mastered their system, and they tell you you have choice, and you can do this, and you can do that. And ultimately, we're all just consumers. Hence, where the power lies. In your consumer, we're 100% solar. We grow our own food. We do shop at the store, so it's very hard to get off. I slunk everything we had, everything we had, into getting off the system, not for beyond political points, um, but dependency. And it's been scary at times because, you you know, the fears roll in. But here's the deal. I'm alive and I'm healthy. Um, and despite the fears, but I did have to think and go, okay, you know, despite a garden in my backyard, you know, we're, we're pretty broke. We're in between semesters. Um, and like I said, we slumped everything into, you know, getting off the grid. Uh, which is a good choice because it'll save us money in the long run. Just again, I don't, you know. <laughs> Anyways, even though that's there, I'm so conditioned that I'm getting worried about food, and I can walk out back and eat anytime I want, you know. And we do have food, but that, that's the thing: is the fear starts to grab a hold, and when you're alone and you're afraid and you don't have the skills, which I lack because I don't know how to grow my own food. I wouldn't know how to live off the land. I'd be fucking dead. You know, I could probably take a gun and kill something, you know, with some deer or something like that. But, you know, I mean, ultimately, that's a, that's a brutal life. Um, and so fear kicks in, which is, I assume, pretty much like the rest of the world or anybody um, who hasn't ever lived like that. And I grew up poor. I grew up, man, I lived on couches for years when I was a kid. You know, I moved out when I was 11 or 12 and, uh, you know, lived wherever and, you know, would come back and stuff like that. So it's nothing that I'm not used to seeing in my, in my younger life um, as far as that. However, you know, those are survival skills that I used as a kid. As a man who can think um, and knows what's going on, uh, you know, you can't use those tools because ultimately it's, uh, you know, taking from another one. And there are plenty of things out there where the communities actually give. If you're hungry, you know, there's, there's things where communities actually give their own food. It's not state. It's not tax dollars. It's the, the, the guy next to you, Vaughn, you know, giving. We're going to be giving. So I, I'm not a really big fan of squash. I mean, I've had a few, but we have tons of squash and not green beans. And so we're going to donate them there to the community center. And that's kind of, or, you know, because they help feed. And if I ever need it, I feel like I can go there. Now, I, I'm, I'm too proud to go and, and really want to take some government cheese. Um, for, for a lot of reasons. Um, I won't go into that. Uh, namely, one is it's not my cheese. Um, 
but on a community center where when I'm doing well, I can give to that community. When I'm doing bad, I can then take from that community um, and everybody gives and contributes. Well, that's all we need. We don't need the government to come in and do this for us um, because everything becomes expensive. Everything becomes expensive. And I could go on and on, and I'm going to actually stop here. But uh, ultimately, you need to wake up. And as always, you don't owe me. And to the government of the United States, please, stop what you're doing and represent us. The good people that are in there, the ones that aren't corruptible, stop what you're doing. Represent us. Um, I personally don't believe in leaders. I don't fucking need a leader. I'll be my own. But uh, since sheeple seem to feel they need one, and I don't see that changing, um, do your fucking job. It's treason what you're doing. You're selling us out, and it's fucking treason. And personal opinion should be strung up, but I'm not violent. So um, what I will do is I will go off the grid, and I'll hit you with the things that are important to you, and that's the money and the power that you gain from that. And so you have one more asshole off your fucking grid. So fuck you and have a lovely life, and to everybody out there, a man up. A the fuck up. Be who you are. It's time to get involved. The sidelines, the game's coming to you. It's coming to the bleachers, so you will no longer be able to sit on the sidelines. It is time to wake up and care for the people with your body, with your mind, and with your blood, not force. Not the police taking from somebody else, but you, your fucking self. Okay? I'm poor. I'm broke. I still fucking volunteer. Four and a half hours. Okay? I still go to fucking school. It can be done. So before you start taking from me, why don't you give your own fucking time? And as usual, yeah, I get pissed. And you know what? I'm going to be okay with that. From now on, when you people think you own me and can decide for me, I'm just going to tell you to go fuck yourself. Because negotiations are no longer... You seem to, you, you can't understand that you don't own me and it's not for you to vote or for you to fucking decide. So be clear here. I am not the only one. There are many. There are more and we are everywhere and we are throughout the fucking world. You know why? Because we are fucking you. So as you sit in your government or in your state government or in your city council raping the fucking people, remember the person next to you, well, that could be me because I am you. And if you don't fucking know that, you better wake up. You better wake up, because we're done. This is no more negotiations. You, do you understand? No more negotiations. It's called civil disobedience. Time to throw the bodies to the fucking gear. Even if it's a little thing, even if it's one day a week that you do something, do it. Do it. You don't wait for the group. Don't wait for the herd. Don't wait for the fucking cattle. Be your own person. Do it yourself. Go stand on that corner with that fucking sign by yourself. Go stand outside of Walmart if you don't like that by yourself. If others join you, that's great, but we don't need a collective high fucking mind. We need a collective high fucking action. Not a mind. We all need to think for ourselves, and if you can't think for yourself, then you are the problem. See? From the pinky, like that pinky shots? You're the fucking problem. Anyways. As always, have a lovely fucking day, and um, stop fucking killing other people through other people. Fucking stop. Thank you very fucking much.